doors when the light finally goes on for a young guy so fun to watch. Ready, gentlemen? Younger players Ready? who've got all the talent and all the world right in front of them, but yet haven't put it all together just quite yet. It's amazing to me how quickly we can give up on a young guy who maybe doesn't find success right out of the gate. But the reality is you have to remember Player development is the lifeblood of this league, maybe now more than ever with the current state of the salary cap. So a little patience as a fan base goes a long, long way. Mm -hmm. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. And where's the help? Obviously a missed rotation, something they're going to want to patch up. Right, because otherwise you're going to give up those close-range opportunities all night. If you allow the opposition to get into a groove, look out. Pass to Hughes. Six to shoot. And the three ball is good. And if he can hit that shot, it spreads the defense out and really changes the complexion of the game. It just opens the court up so much more, and you like to see him get into a rhythm from beyond the arc. Aldridge with it. Hughes covering. Releases. The rebound by Hughes. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I talked with Coach David Fizdale. This is their second meeting with this team. The first one didn't go as well as they'd like, so this time around, they're going to try to close the lane off, push drivers and slashers as far away from the basket as possible. Let's see how that goes, Kevin. Thank you, David. Now here's Perkins. That shot wide open. That's what you call working inside out, drawing the defense in close, kicking it out for the open jump shot. Nice and easy. Swiped away. Tries it from 19. Tries again. And he sinks the layup. He has five. Well, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. Pass to Hughes. No good from outside. Gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Perkins with the bucket. Obviously, he's not the top priority for the defense in those situations. It results in an open three. And there's the pass to Hughes. Can they get it? And it's good for two. And he'll take that. The nice, easy mid-range jumper, first bucket of the day. A pretty good way to start the game, right? The defense has to be more aggressive, keeping him away from that area of the floor, or it's going to be a long night. Oh, that's blocked. To the paint, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. With the teardrop, and that's two points on the layup. I'll tell you, that's a graceful finish. Not just any old layup. The teardrop. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. They swipe it. To the inside, Perkins. And the layup's good off the glass. Perkins got seven. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Takes the 13-footer. Here's Hughes and the powerful one-handed slam. This guy is a beast on the board. And when he gets those second chance points, G8, he does mm. not waste one of them. He's so very quick to convert off the miss and usually with authority. Now here's Perkins. His last outing, he had 18 points. 13 feet away. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing.
And the ball goes out of play and able to keep it in. Let's take a look at the players that have been grabbing rebounds in bunches to lead the NBA over the last 10 games. gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. He kicks to Aldrich. Five on the clock. Shoots it. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. You know, I like how he's getting involved in the offense. He's picking his spots and making his shot attempts count. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. one off the back iron and out. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Now here's Perkins. The lead pushed to double digits. Six points for him. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. And Doris, to try and improve the flow of the games, teams now have fewer timeouts. Players have to be faster about retaking the court after stoppages. I'm assuming you're like me, all good thing, right? I agree, Kevin, and I think what people don't know is the impetus from this actually came from the coaches themselves. Rick Carlisle said, listen, we need to pick up the pace of play because we'd like our games to fit in a certain time frame. And listen, when you've got the leadership at the top in Adam Silver, who always makes clear that game flow is one of his focuses and that this is an entertainment medium and let's please our fans, you're going to make the right choices. I'll tell you, he gets into terrific post position. The entry feed is right where it needs to be. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Hammond. Now here's Perkins. Seven points in the game. Now here's Goodwin. He's guarded closely. That doesn't fall. Can't drop his first shot. Gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Pass to Perkins. Six on the shot clock. Here's Weaver. The rebound by Hughes. Hughes got four rebounds now tonight. Takes it from ten. That one wide left. Here's Weaver. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And boy, are they attacking the paint. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Pass to Hughes. That's tipped. Shot clock at 6. Here's Weaver. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Weaver's got five now. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Passes it to Hughes. Perkins pulls it in. Well, that's tough defense in the paint, harassing him every step of the way. 
To the inside. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. There's 138 left here in the opening quarter. And the layup is good. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. 112 left to play in the first. The pass to Washington. That one's off. Still out of sync. Pass to Weaver. Kicks it to Perkins. It's good from long range. Ten points for him. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Pass to Edwards. And here is Hughes. Fades and shoots. It's hauled in by Goodwin. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Hughes covering. The feed to Perkins. Three-pointer on the way. That shot missing. Fires the three. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. The first quarter concludes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. The home team up by 16. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in... Frank Nilekina has established himself as a legit defender. He spoke... Defense is 80% of will and... 20. A young player with an advanced understanding of defense, and his length gives him an edge. And his defense is something he enjoys. If he can put it all together at both ends, he's a player you can build around. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, already in the first period, they found ways to get this offense ramped up. I think one key is they've controlled the tempo so far. And I know it's early, but it helps to have this kind of lead. Out to the right wing. Passes to Washington. Covered by Perkins. That one a little long. Gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. The pass to Weaver. Inside. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> and here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. And Edwards with the stuff. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. He tries for three. That's another miss, number four. He's two for six shooting. Well, the struggles from the field continue for this guy. The way it's going, he shouldn't be more than a secondary option for them at this point. Covered by Perkins. Pass to Washington. 
fires for three. That doesn't fall either. He's missed his first two shots tonight. Gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Passes it to Weaver. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And for the timeout by David Fisdale here. We've talked about what it takes to be a great head coach, Doris. Qualities that uh, you think are paramount to the success, for instance, of an assistant coach. Maybe the most important attribute to an assistant coach would be coaching with your heart and soul like it's your job on the line every night, not just the head coach's job. Mm. Right? If you pour your heart and soul into something and make that head coach's job easier, then you've functioned appropriately. And the other thing it's allowed you to do is it's allowed you to accelerate your growth. You're constantly thinking, what would I do in this situation? That helps you in the long term. Love that perspective. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. First free throw is good. And so he hits both. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Let's it go with a three. Perkins pulls it in. Perkins got his fourth rebound in this one. The quick look no good that time. Gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Going just one for five. And a big time jam right there. Oh, that's just an emphatic throw down there. That one reverberated throughout the building. Gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Shot clock at five. But they get it back to the paint. Here's Aldrich. Got a piece of it. The tray. Third time is not the charm. 0 for 3 from the floor so far. Here's the teardrop. He takes it up and lays it in. I'll tell you, the floater is a shot that takes great touch, but that one looks pretty leaving his fingertips. No good from 11 feet. On 3 of 8 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. The offensive rebound. Can't hit from in close. The only way he doesn't finish is if the defense gets in his face. Nice job. Covered by Perkins. Not that time. It's off. He's three for seven. Well, despite his struggles from the field in this period, you know he's going to keep asking for the basketball. That one good for two. He has six. You know, rough start for him, but he seems to have turned the corner here in the second period. And so the timeout by David Fisdale here. Yeah, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly out rebound.
gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Shot from 12, and he hits the jump shot. Gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Down low. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. From the arc, Perkins pulls it in. Perkins got six rebounds in the game. Over to the wing. He kicks to Aldrich. Six to shoot. From 18 feet away. No good on that one. Yeah, with the defense laying off him, you know he's going to pull the trigger. They're lucky he didn't burn him. To the middle. A second chance effort, and that's two points on the layup. Oh, easy put back. No one got a body on him. Boy, I'll tell you, Greg, that's just inexcusable. All they had to do was box him out. You learn a lesson the hard way in that instance. Master Perkins. off target had some space there after the little pump fake uncovered and it comes off the front of the rim well I'll tell you still looking for that first three of the second quarter he had one to open this game in the first boy nice feed leading him into some space a nice catch on the run too wow Rebound by Aldrich. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Not good. He's made half of his six attempts. Got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That free throw, no good. So both teams making some changes here. Good on the second free throw. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Now, here's Goodwin. He's guarded close. Got a hand on it. There's 154 left here in the second. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. Poked away. And a bit of a battle jump here for ball, the ball. Jump, jump, the official ball. signals a jump ball here. Guys, if they're going to make a run, no time like the present. Yeah, and it's certainly, we had to expect a better game than this. Been very ugly thus far. Baseline jumper. Rebound by Aldrich. 
Aldrich has got his fifth rebound in this one. Being an outstanding 53% for the game. The pass to Goodwin. To the middle. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. Pass to Hughes. Inside. Very pretty alley-oop layup. Oh my goodness. Sa save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. 34 seconds left to play here in the half. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Weaver. That's good from 17 feet away. Weaver's got four points in the quarter. And just enough wiggle room to get off his shot. Oh, I'll tell you, that's good basketball. You have to get a little creative against the big man, but I love his initiative. The jump hook. And the bank shot is good. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The home team up 19. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. Taking a look at this home squad. Kenny, what's your take? Well, shooters were popping open right and left. Exceptional ball movement. Guys racing off screens, spotting up, knocking down shots. That's the way you play basketball unselfishly, and it was superb, and they exploited all the weaknesses of the defense. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. They were not running an efficient offense. The shot selection has to improve. It's as simple as that. Too many guys working as individuals, not as a team. They need to work as a unit, Ernie. Move the ball. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Feeds to Aldrich. Here's Perkins. The rebound by Hughes. Hughes got his sixth rebound on the night. Rebound by Aldrich. His high percentage shot right at the rim, and he's wondering what happened. Here's Perkins. Got a piece of it. To the middle. Got a piece of it. And a minute played as the second half gets going. To the inside, Aldrich and Cole Aldrich with the slam. Well, you just can't allow a guy that kind of position. Aldrich leaves no doubt. Being struggles apparent, 37% from the field. Passes it to Hughes. Five 
five to shoot. Offensive rebound. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. I'll tell you, good work to pound it down low and finish in tight. Kicks it to Perkins. From 12 feet out. Comes up empty and he's now five for eight. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Oats one up and the layup is up and in. Six points for him. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Lock at six. No good from outside. You know, coming out of the break, you want a fast start. They go one for five. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's the break. To the right side. Point range. The rebound by Hughes. Hughes got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. If he were shooting a bit better tonight, they'd be much further ahead in the scoreboard. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Over to the left wing. Down low. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Right, really a disappointing effort on the defensive end. Not offering any challenge at all at the cup. And so the timeout by David Fisdale here. You know, I think one thing Coach will address in this timeout right now is you're missing a lot of shots. Why not become more of a facilitator out there? We got a chance. Let's get some numbers for Perkins. He's putting up about 16 points a game, six rebounds, and two assists. And with his ability to put the ball in the bucket, he has to be your primary focus defensively. I think defense is planned to stop him, but very few succeed, Greg. And that's why he's his team's leading scorer. In the third quarter, with just over three and a half minutes off the clock, misses the layup. Five to shoot. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Six points for him. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. You can tell they've got their foot on the gas pedal right now. No slowing down. The defense starting to look helpless. Great positioning on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Fires from deep. Tries again. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. They get a hand on it. Hughes with the steal. Tips it. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Continuing to show activity on the offensive glass. Second chance buckets have been huge. To the middle. Here's Aldrich. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. You know, a lot of people have looked at the schedule of the NBA, Doris, and they think it, you, know, you could eliminate back-to-backs of teams that face each other four times in a season, do a two-game series in each city. It's kind of a baseball-type feel. Would you support that? You know, it's an intriguing possibility to me, Kevin, because, one, it would cut down on travel, which obviously would make things a little bit better and easier for players. The, the travel schedule is taxing, particularly on back-to-backs. 
And so I don't know if there would be an opportunity for Adam Silver to maybe somehow run a test case. Would you be willing to put it in for a season, see how it fits in the overall context of the season? But it is an intriguing idea, and we are trying to improve the product no matter which way we go. Basket, good. Boy, what touch. You know, a lot of guys don't have the kind of feel necessary to make the floater. Covered by Perkins. Puts it up from 17. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. It's been their Achilles heel defensively. They just have not been able to control that back wall. Now here's Goodwin. Guarded close. And then Goodwin with the jump. And he wasn't about to do anything that would get him in trouble there. Nope. Uh, up and in with a one-hand uh, finish. Uh, the most basic possible. Shoots from 12. Perkins pulls it in. Perkins got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. I'd say that's been the story of this guy's night. He can't get anything to fall. Pass to Aldridge. Shoots. Can't hit that one. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Yeah, that's not a good example right there. You could have worked it around to get a better opportunity. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. The pass to Goodwin. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Goodwin's got six. The defense making it way too easy for him on that jump shot. He'll take that all night. Washington passes to Hughes. Inside to the right side. Here's Washington. Nice open look, but it's no good. Getting blank from three point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. To the paint. Goodwin with it. Six points for him. Back to Perkins. It's deflected, and they get it back. It's hauled in by Edwards. All right, that, that was what we call a brain fart. Not sure what was on his mind with that one. <laughs> That's inexcusable. That kind of shot selection isn't doing anybody any good. Pass to Washington. But they recover it. Covered by Perkins. Passes it to Washington. One forty-one left to play in the third. Can't cash in from close range. Out left to the wing. Target from three-point range. Gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. 107 left in the third. And the shot goes down. And the home team has possession. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Time out, time out. Yeah, you, you can sense he wasn't happy with how things are going here. Probably looking to change it up a bit. Yeah, no, not at all. It's a good call, Greg. They need a fresh, new approach here. In a moment now to see nice three-point percentage numbers on this list. A look at the leaderboard showing us the most accurate three-point shooting two men in the league. And so here's the home team. It's a 14-point game. Weaver the pass to Goodwin. Here's Perkins. 
That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. Well, this is the classic hot hand, right? If he can keep it up, their lead will be safe. The pass to Washington. Let's go. They get it back, and that one is stuffed right through. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. The rebound by Hughes. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. Well, if he wasn't there, that shot's going in. Love the effort on the defensive end. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Eleven seconds left in the third quarter. Weaver the pass to Perkins. This is his first free throw of the game. That free throw missing. And he's good on the second. And so it's the home team enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And we'll be right back after this. And from a recent huddle, let's listen in on head coach Steve Clifford. Well, we're doing well. Great job. Show your hands. Show your hands. Don't foul. Moments ago, Steve Clifford talking about defensive technique. Doesn't want to give up three points at the charity line. And by focusing in on the smallest thing, his guys know how serious he is. One of the better defensive coaches in our league. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Six on the shot clock. Here's Washington. Misses the jumper. Being a respectable 47% from the field in this one. Pass to Perkins. It's tipped. Pushes it down. Nice job clearing some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. Down low. The rebound by Hughes. Hughes got his 16th rebound on the night. Plenty of space. No good off the back of the rim. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Weaver the pass to Perkins. Now here's Goodwin, guarded closer. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Well, since the break, his efficiency has gone up a notch, looking really polished now. about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Baseline jumper. Perkins pulls it in. Boy, that's a tough miss. Does well to get himself open and then botches it up. To the middle. And the layup's good off the glass. I'll tell you, that play was not as easy as he made it look. A moving target. It has to be perfectly placed. Really pretty. Pass to Hughes. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. A physical basketball there, and in the best sense. A hard screen allows him to shake the defender and get to the bucket for the layup. 
a little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Here's Goodwin. The rebound by Hughes. He does everything right except drain the shot. Passes it to Washington. No good from 11 feet. Gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Kicks to Goodwin. Sinks the triple. Goodwin's got nine points here in the second half. You know, after a first half of poor shooting, he is turning up the heat now. Now Hughes, from beyond the arc, drains it from beyond the arc. Okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. Well, I love how personal this thing is getting. If you drain a three on me, anything you can do, I can do better. And the pass to Perkins. He kicks it to Goodwin. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. to Washington. Shoots from 12. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. On Tuesday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Portland Trail Blazers. And then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Boston Celtics. And for that matchup against the Grizzlies, it's going to be an all-out battle. And you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan, as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. And both free throws, good for Goodwin. gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. He lobs it up. Lock at six. To the paint. Here's Aldrich. Uses the glass to finish the layup. That's a highly efficient finish there by Cole Aldridge. Being a paltry 33% in the fourth, not a good showing for this offense. Pass to Hughes. Takes it from 10, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Pass to Goodwin from past the arc. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Goodwin's got 10 points in the quarter. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Hughes up top. Six on the shot clock. And it falls over the rim and in. Gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. Gone, 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Takes the three. Good on the triple. Lined it up and knocked it down. His second triple tonight. No question who's been in control of this game. Boy, they have really taken charge here. Kicks it to Aldrich. 
trying his luck deep. The rebound by Hughes. Hughes got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. And Aldrich sends it back. Listen, this guy's got a near seven foot five inch wingspan. Cole Aldrich, consistent challenging shots. Boy, you can't pin their struggles today on him. He's been on fire from the field. Now, here's Goodwin. He's guarded closely. The pass to Perkins. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Covered by Perkins. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Misses the three. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. To the inside. Got a piece of it. Fast break. Here we go. And here they go. No good. Shot missing gone. 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46, 47 percent. Three-pointer. Rebound by Aldrich. Aldrich has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to Hughes. Covered by Perkins. Just five to shoot. Pass to Hughes. The second effort, and the layup is up and in. Hughes got 12 points here in the second half. And you've got to love the energy right now. They got hot when they absolutely had to. It took a shift in strategy, but it seems like they figured it out. Let's see if they can extend this run all the way to the finish. Can they get it? Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that will put them up by nine. Gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Covered by Perkins. seven left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finished hard with two hands on that stuff. I mean, the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. Oh! Wow. And he pings it home with one hand. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rattle. Uh, just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. That instant replay brought right to you by Under Armour Hover Havoc, giving us a chance to relive the unleashing of chaos that time. And so the timeout by David Fisdale here. With this game closing in on the final buzzer, let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game. And to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. A really solid performance here in front of the home crowd. He may not be the star of this team, but nights like this are what make him a fan favorite. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. To the middle from seven the shot by hughes no good now that's where they want to go with the ball they can tolerate a few misses as long as he gets his touches inside now here's perkins he's guarded closely here we go all alone drops in the breakaway layup 
and we talk about this a lot, turnovers leading to transition points. Right, they're making it easy for the opposition. You can't afford to cough the ball up like that. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Shot clock at six. Fades away. Doesn't get it to drop for him. You know, he made an easy shot so much harder. And it really cost him the bucket, guys. And so the home crowd treated to a win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.